Welcome to the fourth of our seven-day series on getting the most out of your first week with WordTracker. Today we'll talk about optimizing your web content to help your pages fare better in search engine results. Thus far you've generated keyword lists and mapped out a keyword strategy. Now it's time to optimize your web content, making sure your desired keywords have an appropriate presence on the pages themselves. Here's a fictional page called Desserts House that we mocked up for the purpose of this video. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's aesthetically pleasing with lots of white space and strong visual points of interest. Unfortunately, if a person were searching Google for tasty chocolate cakes online, our site would be buried somewhere around page 40 if it appeared at all. The site is poorly optimized, but we're going to remedy that. To fix this page, we're going to concentrate on four main areas. The title tag, then the headlines, then the body copy, and lastly, the internal links. But first things first. We've chosen a primary keyword phrase, chocolate cakes, and two secondary keyword phrases that jibe with the nature of our business, gourmet chocolate cakes and Christmas chocolate cake. Now, back to our page title tag we can see that Desserts House Home doesn't really include our targeted keywords. Let's add our primary keyword and both secondary keywords to make the title Gourmet Chocolate Cakes and Christmas Chocolate Cake. There, much better. Okay, on to the headings. The current ones, in addition to containing no keywords, hold no meaning. They really need to be made more appealing, and we may as well optimize them in the process. And what about our latest masterpiece? You guessed it, no keywords. Fortunately, it's an easy change. Next, we'll tackle the body text. Keep in mind that it's important not to stuff keywords into the text. In addition to making your site more difficult to read, your search engine rankings could actually go down. But a small number of subtle changes can not only help your rankings, it'll help your body copy focus on doing one thing well, in this case, selling chocolate cake. So, we'll optimize our gourmet chocolate cake copy and also make a couple of slight alterations to the chocolate masterpieces copy. And finally, onto the links. Now, we'll talk about keyword rich hyperlinks in much more detail on day six, but for now, just keep in mind that the search engines tend to reward keyword containing links over bland general links like click here, view details, or read more. So, let's get these fixed. In short, optimizing your web pages to be keyword rich is a critical step in increasing your search engine rankings. We haven't fundamentally altered the aesthetic, but the page is now not only keyword optimized, it's just more interesting in general. The beauty of this technique is that you can optimize each of your pages for a different keyword to rank in many key terms. This concludes our day four tutorial. Tomorrow we'll look at how you can leverage pay-per-click advertising to drive even more people to your site and increase your profit margins. Thanks for watching.